Welcome to Riffsley Trick Finger. We're going to paint Roebuck Bay, just south of Broome. I'm here with Barry Bopper. G'day, Barry. G'day, Riffs. How are you today? I'm fabulous. Nice to see you. What do you got going here? Roebuck Bay. Roebuck Bay, just south of Broome, towards Cape Villaret, just past Echo Beach. Oh, really? Broome. Now, do you get a handle with that broom or you, you got to sweep up yourself? Uh... Now, uh, it's also Australia's newest marine park, Roebuck Bay Marine Park. Is that right? Yeah, it's I named after that. the HMS Roebuck, I the ship captained that. by William Dampier. When Dampier. he explored the coast of the northwestern Australia. Well, with all that water, you're bound to be a bit dampy, aren't you? Way back in 1699. Wow, yeah. seems like yesterday. It does. does. Yeah. It was only the other day. Uh, I was saying... <laughs> what, 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 what were you saying, Rick? 1699. Yeah. It's going to be year 1700. Big oh. party. There's going to oh, be a huge let's, party. Oh, let's party. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was saying. Gee, I didn't know that. Yeah, so... What are we? What are we looking at here? Working in the sky now, I see. Working the sky. Didn't work a lot on the sky. Now I imagine the rainfall there is uh, fairly precipitous. Have no idea about no. the rainfall, but I'm sure it falls yeah. in Roebuck Bay. And there's but certain. It's kind of famous for its migratory birds. Oh, is that right? Yeah, they come a long way. I think. Uh, from Siberia, North Asia, and the Arctic Circle. Right? They fly they about 11,000 kilometers. Holy moly. Non stop. Non stop. Well, there's they, no place to land, I guess. They fly so far, they lose a third of their body weight. Now, why would they do that? Well, I think they like the weather. Ah, oh, there you yeah. go. I mean, if you come from the Arctic Circle. Yes, the weather's that's a bit shitty. Let's down, face right? it, that's not going to be here too much longer. But I like these. What is it? Mangroves in the water there? What are they? I'd say they're mangroves. Exactly. They're like, if you zoom in on the Cause to me, photos being, of the place, they're like little trees. Because to me, from a distance, that just looks like bloody seaweed. But oh, just right. Me. Well, I, I put a bit more detail in them, but at this stage, it just looks like seaweed. But I'm only just blocking in the shapes here. Well, maybe Let's get that's in the bay, the trees, uh, that water. Uh, that's some long beach, isn't it? Well, it I is, think. and it's kind of just a straight big triangle. Is that right? Slice there. So, not a particularly interesting composition, but that's what it looks like. Well, it looks like it extends both beyond and before uh, that, that area. Well, yeah, it's pretty long. There's yeah. some beaches around there. I think there's one that's... Uh, what, uh, 80 mile beach. 80? Yeah, which is just oh, uh, not kilometres or just, kilometers. just south of Roebuck Bay. Yeah, and that's another place where the migratory birds like to go. Mm. It's because of these mud flaps. Mud flaps. Yes, mud I flaps. I've noticed those around there. those flat mud full of little uh, creatures that birds come. Well, that, I imagine that's where the the migratory birds get their nourishment. Takes a four days of non-stop flying for those birds to get there. How do they do that? I, I, I think they flap. Yeah, okay, they've got to be flying. Right? Yeah, they're not they're walking, they're we know flapping. that much. That's they, Nobody wants to walk yeah, that distance. Oh, if there's migratory penguins, they might oh. walk a bit of the way. Is that right? Probably swim, you know. Well, yeah. these little feathered friends, they amaze me. Now you're working, oh, what have you done now? You've got a close-up of the That's that aqua. There's a oh, different... yeah. Got to use up my jar of aqua. But that, that's definitely aqua, isn't it? I oh. mean... Yep. Aqua or... What? Or teal. teal. What is that? Teal. I've never heard of that. What is that? Aqua. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed the difference. Ah, it's a slight difference. It's called teal. Add a little bit of yellow to it. Oh, yeah? Maybe a bit of white and you get aqua. <laughs> is that right? My oh, goodness, you learn something every, maybe it's teal. every day, maybe it's not teal. So there's no actual beach, or is that sand? Or it's, it's more like red dirt, isn't it? Well, there is. There's white sand. 
What? So that's what gives the water such aqua look. Oh, I it, see. It's all white sand, well, and then on the very edge, all that red dust and that bull dust, yeah. that washes down into the water. See, so then you get this oh. stripe of pink as the white sand and the red dust oh, mix. Oh, I see. So I you, get the gist. You get a stri- stripe, of, yeah, a strip because of pink. Well, well there to seems the, to be, the there's, there's not a dis... It's, it's almost similar to the Whit Sundays where you get that aqua water, but you've got this white sand. It's, uh, it's mummy nature. That's why it? they call it the uh, White Sundays. And now I like. Oh, of course. <laughs> now, why didn't I know that? I like the way you've, shall I say, shallowed, shallowed the water now. It looks sh- more shallow than it was. Shall I say Thank that? Thank you. You can say you did. I can't stop you from saying well, that. No, I'm just curious yeah, as no. to why, because that's the lay of the land. I do uh, add a bit more shore and put some ripples on the edge there. That's ripples with an R, yeah. Yeah, not riffles. Right. With the uh, F. So this is Yawuru Sea Country. Ah. Yawuru Nagulagan. Easy for you to say. It's quite hard for me to say that. That's the cultural name. That'd be the real name. For the Uwuru be- people. Before, before. I thought I'd better best mention that. They always like a little mention. Well, specifics. Mm-hmm. Nothing wrong with specifics and details. Yeah, so this should honour this painting to those people. Now, I like, yes, of course, of course. The First Nation people. Yeah, it's their, their place. That's right. And then we, here, anyway, here we come along. Yeah, I here like comes it. this, what, what's his name on the road back? Oh, Dampier. Here comes Dampier. Billy, yeah, Billy yeah. Dampier. Yeah. Yeah. So it should be called you. Yeah. You woo 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 woo. Billy Dampier. Yawuru. That's what it should be called. Yawuru. Yes, not, the, not Dampier's. No, the authentic playground. name. That's right. Yeah. Well, it's, Roebuck it's, Bay uh, and Roebuck Ship. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not happy with the the way us whiteys come along and do this, but anyway. Ah. Yeah, working the clouds here, I see. Ah, uh, no. What I'm doing oh. there is actually lightening the sky. Oh, okay. Putting like some the, lightning in the sky. But, but the horizon is, some is, lightning is, bolt. is what you're doing. Yeah, I like to have the sky very pale blue right on the horizon line. But but I noticed that that's, that's what it is. Just that horizon line is, is often lighter. Yeah. And as, as, as you look up toward the sky, be it cloud or not, yeah, as you get into it darkens. The sky. Mm. Now, is that... Why is that? Is that because of the lay of the land? And that's, uh, that's just... Uh, the angle, it's half of the course. The angle of the light, that, well, that's why we get those sunsets. Why are they red? Yeah, that's what because I... Because it's the dust particles. Ah, yeah. I see. Now, Billy so Dampier... When, you, when you look straight up, yeah. you're looking straight out into space. Type yes, of, thing. of course. And but when you, you look across towards the horizon, you're looking much further through the dust. Right. So I suppose that's... I've that's, noticed this, and I, 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 I've used this, you know, on similar scapes that I've done. But I've never actually known why. So thanks for that enlightenment. I don't know if it was particularly enlightening. I probably didn't explain that very well. You can see here, mm. I painted some water at the beach. You can kind of see the pinkness where the red dust comes down, meets, yeah, the, meets the, water. the white sand, and meets a bit sand, pinky. Right. I've put a bit more detail into the the trees there. And that area, that. Just, just as you come out of the water, you've got the, 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 and then you've got that dark. Is that like a, a ridge? It's like straight up, or, or is that, that dark ridge there, it, right it across? Like, yeah, that's where it's just dropped down. Now this yeah, is some so, of the highest tides, so this water really comes up a lot. And oh, it's up eating today. away into okay. that red dirt. Right there, it's so t- it's tidal, of course. It's tidal, and yeah. Right. Okay, thank little, you. Thanks for watching Riffsley. See you I'm, later. I'm getting a little tired of myself. Oh.